like the great leader that he is, NCT's Taeyong has always done his best to stand up for his members. Luckily, despite some struggles with self-confidence in the past, he has not backed down from standing up for himself as well. Like many other K-pop groups, NCT has had some bad experiences with Sasengs to say the least. In 2020, Taeyong and Hekin had to address Sasengs who camp out in front of NCT 127's dorm and ask them to leave them alone. Whatever way in which you give us love, we will be thankful. But there are people in front of our dorm building. Not just for the nine of us, but the NCT Dream Dorm as well. We are so stressed about this and to be honest, it gives us a hard time. I know that you will still come even if I address this, we have directly requested you not to so many times. It's okay for us to be uncomfortable, this phrase is such a weird one right? In a space meant for rest, we want to be able to do so and eat and play amongst ourselves. Despite this, you make us uncomfortable and have a hard time. We know that you do this because you like us but no actually, if you like us, I can't understand this even more. The situation with stalkers outside their dorm had gotten so bad that, according to a neighbor who moved out due to the situation, Sasayings even caused a minor accident involving a school bus in the neighborhood. After she moved out, tenants were unwilling to take over the vacated home. Unfortunately for the members, their encounters with Sasayings actually went even further. In 2019, it was reported that Sasangs had actually managed to gain entry into NCT 127's to bus. Since then, the members have continued to face harassment. But they have made NCTs proud by responding savagely in kind. Doyoung, for example, has become possibly the most feared member among Sasangs after making it a habit to take pictures of them instead. More recently, you to gain praise following reports that he had flipped off Sasangs like the icon he is. Taeyong, however, broke Nsitsun's hearts when he confessed in March that he feels scared when Sasangs call him. Despite his repeated requests to be left alone, he continues to be harassed by Sasang callers. In an Instagram live on October 27, Taeyong became impatient after receiving multiple calls from Sasangs. It got to the point where he admitted it was making him feel rather stressed, and he called them out for being selfish people. Nsitsons were upset that he had to go through this experience yet again, and are hoping that SM Entertainment is able to do something about the issue, although keeping people from calling is a difficult thing to do. Luckily, Taeyong and his members know how to stand up for themselves, though fans agree that they shouldn't have to.